the last presentation will be from Indonesia. Dr. Titi Noyarsa Tuti will be presented on the topics of tuberculosis, which is very important opportunistic infection in this region too. So her talk would be on the evalu evaluation of acid fast bacilli and expert MTB lift for a diagnosis of tuberculosis. Lesson learned from Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Please. Thank you very much for the introduction and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is as an honor for me to be here today for uh, bring this uh, talk and I would like to thank to the committee for having me today and my talk will be about evaluation of IFP, evaluation of IFP and expert MTP rifampicin for diagnosis of tuberculosis in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. So without further ado, let's get straight to the introduction. As everybody know that mycobacterium tuberculosis is a leading health problem worldwide which is about one third of the world population infected by this tuberculosis. In Indonesia, TB cases is alarm, al alarmingly, especially in um, our remote uh, place. And as we already know from the data from WHO, Indonesia is ranked as the second uh, burden of TB disease. And then let's discuss about the uh, setting of the study, which is located in uh, Yogyakarta province. This is one of the province among 34 provinces in Indonesia. And uh, TB reports vary in our province uh, based on the five districts in, in, in this, uh, this province. In addition, Indonesia set a target of achieving TB case about 70, about 70 percent. But in reality, in almost all provinces, case detection of achievement is still very low. As you can see here, the case detection rate in our province is still far from our national target, which is only 28 percent. And now we are going to discuss about the diagnosis of TB in our Place. So, uh, conventionally, pulmonary tuberculosis is diagnosed by a clinical scenario combined with the finding from the chest X-ray and from the laboratory point of view, we determine based on smear microscopy and culture. In developing countries such as Indonesia, diagnosis still heavily relies on smear microscopy, which has a lower sensitivity and specificity. And additionally, uh, culture is still remains the good standard for the diagnosis of tuberculosis. We should keep, uh, keep in mind that actually MTP culture is very challenging because uh, it's really required sophisticated laboratory, laboratory, laboratory infrastructure and this method is really time-consuming, uh, need qualified staff and strict quality control. Regarding to the time-consuming, uh, it will lead to the delay diagnosis and treatment and will increase the morbidity and mortality. In addition, uh, the delay of the culture, it will also lead to the development of secondary resistance and ongoing disease transmission. In 2010, WHO endorsed a novel rapid automated tool which is called expert MTP rifampicin, which can simultaneously detect TB and rifampicin resistance only in two hours. In our province, it, it is introduced in December 2012. And it is used to uh, detect TB infection for high-risk TB MDR, TB HIV, and pediatric TB. So in terms of the uh, using export in Indonesia, as already know that, uh, as, as mentioned in this slide, that uh, in 2016, there are about 82 gene experts available. Among them were placed in 10 provinces in Indonesia, which is considered as high burden 
uh, TB and HIV. And in our province, in Yogyakarta, which is considered as um, the fifth rank of TB burden, we have, um, uh, we have about eight gene expert equipment. And this is the summary list of TB problem in Indonesia. TB is still a public health problem despite efforts to control it using DOT strategy since 1995. There is still uh, poverty, low level of education that uh, lead people are vulnerable to TB. And the number of cases is difficult to determine because there is no certain data. And also the number of cases of uh, drug resistant TB is increasing. And uh, therefore, there is an organ need to strengthen tuberculosis capacity in our province. So our study is aimed to strengthen tuberculosis of diagnosis capacity, to evaluate tuberculosis diagnosis measure, and also to describe the epidemiology of tuberculosis case in Yogyakarta. And this is the material method. So it is considered as a retrospective study, which is start uh, 2013 till 2016. And the data is come from the log and national TB program record. So basically our population is coming from the uh, presumed MDR TB. So we have obtained about 1,000 329 sputum and 20 non-sputum specimen. All of them are performed for gene expert and ASP smear. And after that, uh, for specimen showing uh, rifampicin resistant cases will be continued for culturing. And in this study, we have about 93 uh, rifampicin resistant positive continue for culturing and after that for who for a specimen that grow on the culture with will be continued for uh, first line drug susceptibility, drug susceptibility test and now we are proceed to the uh, research and uh, discussion so as you can see here uh, among a total of specimen obtained of this study majority of the uh, population uh, in their productive age is about 70, uh, it's 76 percent and uh, mostly the sample comes from male patient. Almost one third of the population, yeah, which is around uh, 396 uh, specimen were AFP smear positive. And uh, according to this result, it's about 600 specimen uh, so positive for expert assay for TNRTB. And among the MTP positive case, it's about 14% were rifampicin resistant. Specimen type of this study mostly coming from sputum, which is uh, about 1,300 sputum, and the uh, the non-sputum specimen coming from the pleural effusion, uh, bone tissue biopsy, lymph node aspiration, feces assay test, and also uh, bronchial lavage and um, liquid cerebrospinal. And among non-sputum specimen specimen. AFP could not be detected except for lympho node, faces, uh, lympho node uh, and faces. And then expert assay was only able to detect MTP DNA from lympho node, acetes, faces, and bronchial lavase. In addition, uh, rifampicin resistant specimen uh, among the non sputum specimen is coming from the lympho node aspiration. And more, moreover, this is the Result comparing the result from the, um, uh, the I'm sorry, sorry, this is the result of the phenotypic DST. And as you can see here, so uh, among nine, um, 93 specimens showing rifampicin resistant case, then continue for 
uh, culturing, and unfortunately, only 60 specimen that so so growing on Lowenstein Jensen media. As and you can as you can see here, uh, only 44 44 isolate so uh, rifampicin resistant based on phenotypic method, while pan susceptible, mono resistant, uh, and poly resistant without rifampicin resistant so. Uh, were detected in about uh, this uh, specimen, about uh, 12, 6, and 1 specimen. And in terms of uh, statistical analysis, st statistical analysis, we compare the result of AFP smear and um, MTP DNA by expert assay. As you can see here, we found moderate agreement between AFP staining and MTP expert to determine the TP cases. It is uh, similar with the, the previous result. So when we compare the phenotypic uh, result between phenotypic method and molecular method, uh, it saw also moderate agreement between expert and phenotypic method of uh, drug susceptibility task. Susceptibility test, which is uh, the Cohen kappa is about uh, 0.5, uh, and consider to the uh, about 80 percent of the agreement. Yeah, and now uh, talking about the annual detection of TP case in our province. Uh, it seems that the pres presumptive TB cases have been steadily rising since 2013. Similarly, positive cases either with AFP smear or expert TB increase as well. The same trend, the same trend also was seen for expert assay diagnostic tool. And for the discussion, I put some. Uh, uh, statement that Indonesian government aim to eliminate TB as a problem by 2050, but there is still a gap in combating TB, which is uh, we don't have a cheap, fast, and accurate diagnostic that can be used for resource-limited setting. And our study found moderate agreement between both diagnostic tests, which is AFP and expert, and also expert and uh, phenotypic DST. We found also from our study that the proportion reform patient resistant is a lot um, among expert conf confirmed TB is about 14 percent. And uh, because the uh, specimen coming to our lab is steadily rising, uh, so it reflects that there is uh, increasing presumptive cases and, and reflect the Indonesian government effort to expand TP and MDR TP case funding uh, coverage. But we realize that there are a lot of study limitation here, so it doesn't include all identified positive TP cases. Uh, only the ST profile for rifampicin resistant subject were studied, so it may not fully represent MDR TP in general population. No information of cases type, so we do not determine which is it is new or previously treated, which is actually it is important to identify the spreading pattern of MDR TB strain. So the conclusion could be drawn from this study that uh, despite the variation of case detection by AFP smear compared to MTP expert, both diagnostic tools were considered as moderately agree agreeable. Therefore, should be interpreted cautiously. The study suggested that the increase of M MDR TB detection coverage was important to enable better efficiency in detecting TB and MDR TB cases. So, I just want to uh, share the picture of our activity and our uh, PSL2 uh, plus lab. Uh, so, the left side is the picture uh, when we do the AFP smear staining by cell Nelson staining, and the middle part is the procedure of expert assay, and the right side is the uh, procedure when we do culturing in Lowenstein Jensen medium, which is homemade media, and then we uh, directly continue to do the drug susceptibility test by uh, 
propulsion method and lower stain tension also. Uh, and then we need incubate until two months to detect the result. Uh, so in Indonesia, actually, there is a, a campaign which is TOSTB. It is such a reminder for healthcare worker. Um, this approach in Bahasa, yeah, TOS means high five. Hence, it is expect, expected that this movement could put a new spirit for all healthcare workers to combat TB. So, it is aimed to find TB symptom, treat, treat TB until uh, treat TB properly, and then monitor TB treatment until healed. And last but uh, not least, I would like to thank to the Ministry of Health of Indonesia for authorizing this project, to the TB team of Special Region of Yogyakarta Health Services, and also for uh, all of hospital staff involved for dedicating their time and support data collection. So thank you so much. <laughs>